everybody doing? I've got to put my face on. Mm -hmm. Y'all been doing okay? All right. So, I've missed y'all. I hope you've missed me. Have you? <laughs> Delicious. Look at this cute little bird. That's called an American goldfinch. Look, it says right there on the cup. And they like to eat, besides sunflower seeds, they like thistle. That's what they really like, more than sunflower seeds. Maybe they do like sunflower seeds. I need to learn even more about my birds. Okay. I do not have the, all of my makeup on, so I'm just going to pull whatever is in the drawer. And let's just grab one of these. What is this one? Mally Nude Attitude Eyeshadow Palette. Okay, I know I got this a long time ago. And I have not been using it because it's been in this drawer. Oh, and it came with a nice little brush. We're going to dump that out of there. But that's a pretty nice shader. And um, more like a pencil brush. It's not round, but it's it's not tight enough to be a smudger, I don't think. No, it's way too loose for smudging. Okay, there. Here's the palette. And it's a really good palette, y'all. I do not remember if it has really good payoff or not, so we're fixing to find out. So, I'm going to start. Uh, I need brushes. I don't want to mess with... Do y'all like my little um, unicorn ones? I love them. And my Fashion Glamour and Bling Oh My Cup from my daughter. I don't want to use those. You can't even see what I'm talking about. <sighs> Should I try these? Alright, I'm going to try them. It's these guys. Okay. So, first of all, let's use, let's see, what does this one say it's for? Contour. I don't want it for contour. Eyeliner. I don't want it for eyeliner. Lip. That is not a lip brush. That's hysterical. All right. No shadow. Other no shadow. Concealer. Is there any eyeshadow brushes? Eyeshadow. That does not look like eyeshadow. I've used it before. Okay. Let's use it to put on my... Let's do something a little... Um, we'll use cream. You know, can you see? That's my highlighter. And I may mix it with this right here, the quartz. So let's just do a little of that. And a little of that. This does not strike me at all to be an eyeshadow brush, but let's just see how it goes. Well, okay. I guess if you wanted it to, and then I'm going to put this again in the inner corner. Yeah, it works. How have y'all been doing? Okay, so I've just gone over with cream and quartz in my um, brow bone in my inner corner. And, um, this is striking me as not extremely pigmented, y'all. But then this isn't, I don't know about these brushes. There we go. No. I'm not liking these brushes. Let's try this inner corner again. and over. Um, I don't know. Alright, then I'm going to use the same brush and use this Terra Rosa. Now what that means is it's got a little bit of bronze in it and it's got a little bit of um, you know, like that terracotta color and a little bit of rose and it's a um, shimmer. Meaning it's got sparkles. Let's see how it does. I'm going to put it right here in the crease. This is just a very weird brush. I'm going from the crease down to the lid. Hmm. I don't know if this is fair to um, say how good these uh, colors are based on this brush. Y'all may look at this brush and go, I absolutely love those and it would be wonderful, Beth, if you were actually using the way it's intended, but I'm going sideways and I'm going this way, like a toothbrush. I can't imagine how else you would use this brush. 
but I would say I don't like this. I don't like it. Oh, okay. What else should I do? Let's try the liner one. Where's the liner one? Eyebrow brush. Okay. Let's use this chestnut color, which is a dark brown, and see how does the eyebrow brush work. Well, uh, it's actually really putting the color on there, that's for sure. So now, are we liking the brushes? I don't think so. I, maybe I just got to get used to using them, because see, looky there. Oh my gosh. It definitely went down that time. A little too far down. I don't know. What do you guys think? It looks awkward because I'm making it awkward. See, look over here. It did it the same thing. It really kind of dried the color down, which is good. Let's try it again. I mean, that's good, right? I don't know. I don't know about this. Okay. So let's use Russet in the... Um, outer crease and I'm using the lip brush because that's just what I was gonna do and I'm sorry that actually looks all right all right this is russet again it's kind of like a gold brown and I am going to go right up to the brow on the inner corner all the way up to the brow and then in the crease blending upward and then I'm going to take a little more about here and come inward with that same color you see because of my scar right there it's kind of hard I have to work with my myself I have to work with myself because of my scar the latter one. Eyebrow. One of them said liner, remember y'all? Liner. This is a little one. Alright, so I'm going to use that dark color again, chestnut. And I'm just tapping it back into the little thingy. And hopefully this will wind very well. thinking it actually did. Maybe I just need to get the hang of this. Huh? Maybe I'm going to be an incredible artist with this. I blow my nose so many times today that I have absolutely wiped all my primer and my um, I started to say nose wash. Is that just sad? That's just sad, isn't it? Well, it did line. Well, let's use carbon, which is obviously a black. Let's use that right at the lash line to kind of darken it up right at the lashes. Just dabbing it in a little bit. Right at the lash line. And honestly, I would have smudged this anyway, so the fact that it's not perfectly lining it is okay with me. Because I don't want that look. I want kind of a smudged look, and it's doing just fine for that. I'm getting a zit. Or, who knows, it could be a skin thing. As you get older, there's so many skin things. Okay, so one thing that I didn't use is this tawny, and I would have liked to use that as a, you know what, I can if I want to. What do we got? This is a concealer brush. Well, that's what I'm going to use, because it's going to conceal. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I want to blend. There. This is a matte brown, and I'm going between the white, which in here is cream, and the um, set color. There we go. And kind of blending this back edge back as well. I don't know. It's okay. Um, 
um, the palettes. Okay, too. Um, next time I'll bring my regular brushes in here. These now have turned into just for pretties. These are for looking at and saying, wow, aren't those pretty brushes? I guess I could use this and wipe my face down. Did it work? How's it look? Well, you know what? Let's be fair. Let's be fair to the product. Let's put on what we believe to be powder. It's M Cosmetics powder. Well, let's just see how it does. Is it giving me good coverage? Hey, yes, it sure is. It's actually doing a pretty decent job. Y'all, I like this for face powder. So that is the powder brush. That might have something to do with it. Okay, so I'm done with that. We're going to put some lashes on. And um, there's those little brushes. All right. The dogs are barking. They don't like something. Growling, I should say. Growling, I should say. That powder, by the way, was M Cosmetics by Michelle Fawn. Bear, number four. And it has the largest mirror, y'all. Look at this next to my face. That is a large mirror. It's really large. All right, so there's my shadow, and now I'm going to put on my mascara. I will be using an eyelash curler and this Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Waterproof, but that's all I'm going to have on for today, so I will see you guys again in my next video. I love you, and I'll see you again soon. 